Hello everyone, I'm the Nerdy Fool, and welcome to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We all knew this was coming after I finished Breath of the Wild last week, and I'm excited to go into it. I've intentionally avoided spoilers, and I'm hoping to go into this as blind as possible to just see what this story is about, but I've heard good things. So let's head in and check it out. Uh, yes, I briefly opened it, didn't look at any of the cutscenes or anything, just to make sure that things were working. So, definitely override it all. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Wonder, nope, I was like, I wonder if they'll let me go back. I think if something caught your attention. Whatever it is, we can plan to look at it on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. Alright. Ooh, and they gave me a few extra hearts that I didn't have at the end of the last game. I wonder if they're going to actually let me play this game with all those hearts. And do enemies just hit you for a ridiculous amount of damage? Or are they going to do something to reverse it? So I'm back to three hearts. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Still just looking around in case there's anything to see. So we're underneath Hyrule Castle, and there's some mist that people are getting sick from. After going through COVID, you know, in the last few years, part of me was just like, why aren't we wearing masks? Stay safe. <laughs> Link. The Master Sword. It must be sensing something. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. Well, it looks like the Master Sword no longer senses anything. We're okay. Also, I don't remember the Master Sword ever sensing things in the previous game. Link, look here. Hmm. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these be from the Zonai? I couldn't tell you. 
Did I miss anything else? No. The Zonai is not anything I'm familiar with. <laughs> did she steal my Sheikah Slate? Or did she get a second one somehow? I don't see one hanging on my belt. I think she took it back. A Sheikah Slate was specifically designed to help the champion get into the shrines. And she just keeps holding on to it. These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many histor history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them, so they were before the Sheikah, presumably. Is that what they look like? Is that what the Zonai look like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. I'm following you. It's a good question, though, if they are a skyfaring civilization. Did their castle crash? Was it long enough ago that it got buried? Oh. You're not hurt, are you, Link? Of course not. Murals. <sighs> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! 
This is the imprisoning war, and the events that led up to it. Kalink! This is a huge discovery! All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <clears throat> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Well, if Link had a Sheikah Slate, he could just summon a bomb. Deal with those cracked rocks. Yeah. It is not allowing me to access my abilities. Seemed like she would have liked to have seen it, but she has to hold on to that Sheikah Slate. <laughs> okay, this mist is looking worse. Trying to walk slow enough that I don't get too far ahead of her. Also, this music is definitely setting the mood. Those are just rocks. Thought they might have been like broken statues or something. They seem to have some shape to them. That one definitely had writing on it. Whoa. That is definitely a thing. That green light in the distance. I'm having the strangest sensation. This is all so ominous. Agreed. <gasps> what is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Yeah.
Epic. Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Okay, so the Master Sword is theoretically surviving. And Link's got a new arm. I did see something about the new arm. So, I was expecting that. Decayed Master Sword. Sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath the Hyrule Castle. You're just clipping that onto your back. Yep, use a weapon. Okay, he's got a holster. Whoa, what just showed up? Oh, just a jump prompt. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I'm assuming the Master Sword can be repaired, same as it did when Zelda put it by the... Deku Tree? Am 
my name is correct. That looks familiar. So our arm is our new Sheikah Slate, presumably. Huh. Tried to see if I could climb onto that. That would take me up somewhere. So it definitely looks like a puzzle that something could be done with, but... Don't think so. At the moment, at least. Okay, jump. Um, we're back to a single bar of stamina. I was expecting it. Like, there was no way they'd let me have all the hearts and stamina and whatnot that I earned in the last game and then try and balance that out. So there had to be some way to get us back to our base capability. That is a really long dive. Running from water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. That's not actually how that works in real, real life, but yes. Alright, we've got a chest here. Archaic legwear. Anything else to see? I'm guessing not. Since this is the very start, they're probably not hiding things around. They want me to just get my basic gear and then go out and explore the world. Okay. Pretty sure this wasn't here this morning. <laughs> Alright, there is a pool below us, but what kind of mad person would jump off of this? <laughs> oh, we see one of the dragons out there. What is that? Looks like a big stadium of some sort. <laughs> so can I now safely fall without the need of paraglider? Also, it seems that whatever was done to lift the castle raised a whole bunch of land masses. Unless they're trying to imply that this was all somewhere up in the sky and we just couldn't see it because of how high up it was or something. Oh, that looks like a stick to me. Tree branch! It is theoretically slightly better than my broken master sword. So 
yeah, at the moment, I don't have a solid direction I'm trying to go. But there is a path ahead of me, so I might as well follow it. Sky Shroom. A common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Interesting. If there are already specialized plants for the sky islands, then it can't just be that existing land masses were pushed up. So what is the deal? An apple. Yes, I know what apples are. Oh dear. Zonai Charge. Material used as a power source for con construction and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Soldier Construct Horn. A blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. So these clearly were existing Zonai Islands. So... Where have they been? Wooden stick. Better than a tree branch. We'll just finish breaking this branch. Yep. Because I know I didn't see a bunch of floating islands in the last game. Unless they took us very far away from Hyrule. And maybe these islands did exist. Somewhere else. Alright. Is that another soldier? Definitely seems like a thing over there. Throw weapons, sure, that's a thing I basically never did. I could theoretically just dive off of this island to one of these other islands. But I have no idea how you get back up, so I'm choosing not to do that. <laughs> Alright. What are you? Are you going to attack me? No. Yes. Maybe. Link, I've waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Okay. This is the Pura Pad. So, we know Zelda was teleported away, whatever. But I'm wondering if there's a large time skip that just occurred. Yeah, because this thing seemed like it hadn't moved in a while, but it's already got the Pura Pad from Zelda. And our friend, Mr. Arm, also said that he knew a lot about us from Zelda. So I'm currently thinking there was a big time jump again. This is the Pura Pad. I'm told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Pad. Princess Zelda's prized device it has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. This 
that's the Temple of Time, because I think on the Great Plateau, the temple there was the Temple of Time, and it did not look like that. Alright, so they are wanting us to make our way over there. I just have a lot of questions, which is good. Having a lot of mystery is excellent. Because then I get to relearn what's going on in this world. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that weapon against the soldier constructs? Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this island. The Zonai who created us dis directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. You may t practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. I won't attack you, you seem friendly. So the zone I were just big on jumping off of platforms, apparently, into lakes. Huh. Saw that and thought I'd grab it right away. Hot hooded frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to brew its, to draw out its speed enhanced, speed boosting effect. I can read, I swear. So cooking's still going to be a thing, not terribly unexpected. Now we'll move on to one of these tree branches. Nice. Okay. So whatever these Zonai charges are, they're pretty common. So they're not like guardian cores or anything that I need to actively try and hoard. They look similar-ish. So I wonder if there's going to be like Koroks and whatnot. I assume so. That was a big aspect of the game. But if this is an entirely new landmass, then it wouldn't necessarily make sense for them to be here. Hey there, guys. Look out below. I don't have a paraglider, right? No. <laughs> Goodbye, you. Let's drop a bunch of my sticks. Or tree branches. Wooden sticks are what I actually want to have. Perfect. A long stick. So that's our spear for now. You like spears. So I wonder if we're not going to fight guardians anymore. Now that Ganon's taken care of. I mean, I'm sure they've got an equivalently dangerous enemy.
what is this? Looks like nothing. You're not an enemy. I can talk to you. Okay. I was about to just attack. Hello. Were you lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I w would not know. You're roasting them? Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that the construct, a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside a fire. I do not eat, but I'm given to understand that it, is, it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Toasty Sky Shroom. Changes it probably from a quarter heart I didn't check to a half heart. Alright, that's where I'm going. Yeah, I'm just curious where they're going with this story. So much changed. But no, my original thought that a lot of time had passed, I don't think is valid. Because these ruins are clearly from the Zonai, but have also had enough time to degrade. So it's not like something built up and then... Yeah, it's not like the Zonai rebuilt or something. I don't know. I'm not sure where all of these land masses came from. Ow. Come on, dude. What do you have? A rusty broadsword and an old wooden shield. Well, let's definitely equip the shield. Good. But yeah, I'm sure they'll at some point explain what happened in the time frame after Ganon to what got us here. Also, Link needs to cut his nails. <laughs> that door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, oh, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key.